To other news here at 5 o'clock, we have new details on the two teens arrested after the shooting at Public Square over the weekend. The prosecutor's office says two 17-year-olds were found with guns, one of which was stolen, but no one has been charged in the shooting. And one of the 17-year-olds was cleared of any involvement. This news coming as disturbing new video of the shooting has surfaced. It happened Saturday night, just about an hour after the annual tree lighting. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan with the frightening images and calls for more protection in the heart of downtown. The terrifying scene captured by cameras at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument in Public Square. People scattering and police taking cover with guns drawn at the sound of gunshots. One of our victims has jumped down and is trying to make their way across. In the video, a victim hobbles up the monument steps. An officer rounds the corner to help him. Greg Palumbo is the monument executive director. There was a large police presence, um, so that makes it even more of a bold act. He got the call about the shooting after he says was a busy day with more than 1,700 people passing through to see patriotic Santa. The rink had been shut down a little earlier. The police were worried about uh, things escalating and we're trying to get this square under control. Police say officers walking in public square went to reports of teens fighting when they found two victims, 15 and 13 year old boys. Allison Gilgenbach told me Sunday she and her husband protected their two daughters in Tower City. There was like a wall there and I we like ran into some people and I picked up the kids and I just like held both of them because we had no idea what was going on. Corey May is the managing partner of Rebel, a cafe in Public Square. He says there were two different scares about 45 minutes apart. The first a false alarm. The second led to similar actions by employees moving people to safety in the kitchen. You're talking about little kids, babies and strollers. I mean, it was all out panic. It was unbelievable. This was the second shooting outside a downtown business shared with his partner, Bobby George. Back in July, a mass shooting wounded nine outside Barley House. In 15 years of being down here, this is the worst I've seen it. Palumbo says every day after school, teens hop off buses and sometimes some cause trouble. Public Square and the, and the city core as a whole need more resources. The district could use more resources uh, just to have shift changes covered. May says part of a solution may include getting into the schools and the homes. He believes something needs to happen before people start losing their confidence in visiting downtown and business like his leave. It's not one problem. It's a lot of problems. And where do you start, right? And that's what everyone needs to agree on. Where do we start? And then what's our plan? Like, what's see a three-year plan? I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan.